Fantastic. You know, it's a phenomenal crowd here. I just enjoyed walking around talking to everybody. I just talked to somebody who was at, uh, who was at our, our first space flight uh, in, in uh, June of 04. Uh, is there anybody else here who was out there for, for that? Come on. Yeah, You're flight. kidding. Every flight. Wow. Every flight. Well, let me, let me get a little bit of intel on that. Uh, I started uh, a development of, of uh, home-built airplanes a long time ago. I flew my, flew my first one. In fact, you're going to see videos of the very first flight testing of the very big one, which was done when I was uh, working for Jim Beatty in Kansas uh, in 72. But since then, uh, there's actually been uh, 42 airplane types uh, flown. Uh, uh, that that I've had the privilege to to be the designer, and uh, and to work with a, with a phenomenal group of, of of folk who are a hell of a lot more talent than I was when I was their age. So it's just cool watching them work. And there's several of them here. In fact, you're, uh, you guys are working for Scaled. Come on, we've got a few. Is that all? We only have like six? OK. That's good. But anyway, I want to tell you something about that, that, that flight. And uh, th that, that's really my best memory of, uh, of everything that we've done is that, is that event. Because it was very special. All of these airplanes um, are generally, whenever we're doing a flight test, certainly a first flight, whenever we're doing anything that's envelope expansion, we always do it very quietly. And that is because if something real bad happens, then you, you never find out about it, right? <laughs> but anyway, that, that day, the, uh, June the 21st of 04, was the first time that we actually invited the media and the public to an envelope expansion flight test. That was, that was the very first time, and the only time. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, the XPRIZE flights, they weren't envelope expansion. We were just doing the same thing with a heavier ship. So, so um, uh, that was a very special thing. Uh, my sponsor was, uh, was uh, intent on having the media there and having the VIPs there, but was not interested in having the public there. And I really felt that, that this is a special occasion that if commercial spaceflight goes like it possibly can, it would really be cool if little kids could come there and watch this flight and be able to tell their grandchildren that, hey, they saw the first commercial manned spaceflight. And they were actually there. You know, like people that were there in, in, in uh, Le Bourget when, when Lindbergh flew across. You know, they, that was a big thing for them. So anyway, I, I we, invested in that and got the security and the toilets and the parking all set up and whatever and we invited the public in now uh i didn't even know about it but there was a rich guy down in lancaster palmdale that went to los angeles and he leased uh 44 big buses and he brought school children there from two schools so they could be there and that was really cool. I mean, the reason I mentioned that is these all these kids around here. Uh, uh, that was very, very important to me to to be able to to kind of have someone there for something that was uh, expected to be historic. And uh, hopefully, if there is commercial space transportation in the in the future, I'm talking about non-government stuff for people to fly. Uh, that they'll look back on that and say, hey, I was there, and that was cool. Okay, uh, this talk, I, I really haven't decided what to say. I wanted to kind of look at, the, look at your eyes and, and let you kind of give me feedback. So, so give me some feedback during this next half an hour, and we'll see how it goes. And I'll try to give as much time as I can for Q&A, too. But what I've done here is I've dug out a bunch of old uh, pictures and we also dug out a bunch of old videos. The videos you're going to see were taken by eight millimeter cameras. Okay, uh, back in the 50s, we had 
we had uh, eight millimeter movie cameras. Uh, well, uh, they, they'd, they'd only take about a minute of video, or excuse me, of film. Film. Footage. <laughs> Buggy whip, film, same thing, right? But, uh, and, and uh, sometime in the uh, 80s, I got those out and before they totally fell apart and I shined them on a wall and I set up a video camera and I made VHS copies of them just by pointing the camera at the wall. And uh, so uh, I gave my big stack of VHS videos to my daughter-in-law about six years ago and she digitized all of them. She finally got it all done, and for, as a Christmas present, she gave me 28 DVDs. So I have all of this stuff on DVDs now, and it's, so I've, I've kind of had a little fun pulling clips out of it. So I'm, I, it's something that I just put together in the last few days, and I'm, you know, I, we're gonna have some fun showing it to you. Thank you. Okay. Awesome.